hello everyone welcome in this video we will be learning how to save a solidworks file so that we can use it in ansys workbench first i will open one folder in which i have already made the solidworks model so uh, th these are the these are the parts and the full assembly of the solidworks model so here i will open the full assembly so this is solidworks opening <coughs> we have to wait for some time let it open uh, so this is our model which is already made in solidworks so uh, now we what we have to do is uh, we have to save this model in IGES format so that we can open the file in ANSYS Workbench. For that what we will do is here go to file and go go to file and the save as option. Click the save as option. In this <coughs> I will save this to desktop. <coughs> Since my model includes one of the NACA profiles so I will give it the name of that NACA0015 zero zero one five and the and the type which type i have to save i will select igs type igs dot igs file and i will save it once i will see once i save this model to igs file so we can see it here naka 0015 igs now now we will open this in ansys workbench so i already opened the software and ansys workbench in this uh, various analysis systems are there suppose if you are working in fluid flow fluent so just give it I will just give it any random name for the time being okay now in the geometry you have to go and make the take the right click and in that option you will see this import geometry import geometry I will go browse where I saved my file I saved my file at desktop uh, by the name Naka naka.iges naka0015 ig's this is my file i will click it i will open it so uh, a green tick means it's it's imported successfully now we will check whether it's imported successfully or not so we'll double click on the geometry and ansys design modeler will open so that we can check there whether the model is imported okay so see this is the file which we imported but for this to generate in ansys workbench we have to go here do right click on the import file and we have to generate click the generate button so this is our model which we made in solidworks and now it can be used in ansys workbench for analysis so now we are good to go with the model thank you for watching and stay tuned